Hello everybody, it's Paul here from the Perfect Review channel. Um, it's not really a perfect review today but I'm going to do a review anyway. Um, this is on the washing machine, this is a, a recent purchase we made actually. It's the Samsung, uh, this is the Series 5 model, uh, 1400 spin, as you can see here this is the one. Now the reason I'm doing this, I don't know if you can see that, but it's making a very, it's gone back today this washing machine, uh, they're coming to collect it, this is the second time we've bought from Samsung and it's gone back. Uh, a few weeks ago we purchased exactly the same washing machine, it was doing exactly the same thing and we sent it back and this is the replacement one which we've had about two weeks and it's doing the same thing. There's lots of movement in the drum, it's like the bearings have gone on our old washing machine. It really makes a loud noise when it's spinning and it shakes. Um, now we've always, we've really been a, we are a Samsung um, fan really. We, we have lots of Samsung items in this house. We have a, as you can see there, we have the Samsung fridge freezer. Uh, we have a Samsung telly, Samsung phone, Samsung tablets. Uh, what else do we have? Quite a few things, Samsung uh, subwoofer, you know, a media system. So we, I would say we are Samsung fans, and the washing machine we had before this was the Eco Bubble, but it was the old versions with the belt. Um, and we had that for nearly 10 years, getting on for 10 years, and obviously towards the end the burdens went, and the uh, the shock absorbers in the top that hold it, they needed changing. Uh, and why I did that, changed the belt and everything else, and that lasted a good 10 years, and we didn't really have any problems with that. And like I said, we went for an upgraded version, this has got a steam version. Um, so we went for the upgraded version, haven't been so happy with our previous Samsung washing machine and I've got to say I don't know if it's the new technology, I don't know if it's the new drums with this, um, you know, not the new drums, the new mortars, this inverter mortars that um, don't use belts um, or what, but this is just we're so disappointed having two washing machines that have both failed and previous to that one we had an point one that we ordered the first time, that was about three months ago um, and that got sent back, we got it, and the drum was warped, and it was like a burning smell. So we sent that back, we got a refund, and we decided we'd go back with the Samsung. So this is our third washing machine, new washing machine, that we've had in the space of, like, so I would say three months, not even three months. And all of them, I've had something wrong with them. So I don't know if that's just technology getting worse, builds, they don't build them like they used to, or we've just been unlucky. But like I said, this one is going today, I'm just doing a final wash because we're going to be without a washing machine for a few days. Um, but it's, it's just very, very noisy when it, when it spins. It, there's lots of movement, it sounds like it's banging. And for those of you who might say, oh, it's not level, uh, I took it out, I perfectly leveled it, I calibrated it, I've done all the normal things they asked me to. Um, I did that before I fitted it anyway, but I've just done it to check again. And it's perfectly level, and it just the way it throws it around. It's like I've got a feeling that the the stabilizers to use inside are just not up to like a dodgy batch or something. And the other thing worth mentioning is that we got this is a replacement for the previous model we had, which was exactly the same model, but when it came, it was completely different. The other one had like writing on it that said uh, you know which model it was, and it had. Um, some other writing somewhere saying about Versa. Um, the tray was different on the other one. Complete. This was shallower, and this one had like it had like a stopper thing clips on it, and it was completely different. And on the back as well. Um, believe it or not, they, they, even though it's the same model from the same year of production, on the back where the waste comes out of. So on on the old one that we sent back, the waste was on this side coming out, and the, the electric was on that side, the mains. And on this one, it's the other way around, so the, the waist is on that side and the mains is on this side. So I, I don't know what's going on. With, I, it's worth saying, I didn't, get this from, I didn't get this from AO or Curry's or anything like that. I ordered it from um, Samsung.com directly. And I, I don't think I would ever order from them again. It's really hard to communicate with them. They're from some 
call centre somewhere in the world. That they try to pretend they're English and they uh, very thank you to you and stuff like that. And they don't speak proper English. They don't really understand what you're saying to them. Uh, now they didn't offer to send an engineer out. They did the test themselves. They said try this, try this, and then they just say, oh yeah, just send it back uh, for a refund or replacement. There's no kind of follow-on. There's no engineers coming out. Uh, with the op point we ordered, I will say um, the, the, the customer service was absolutely brilliant. I mean, the only reason we didn't keep the op point is because some of the functions we were sort of used to on our previous Samsung washing machine, um, for example, like it, it had a very long wool wash and it didn't really have this bubble sort that we liked on the previous Samsung we had. It didn't have that on the op point, so we decided to go back to op point. But what I would say about op point is that when I phoned them up to... to um, to report the fault it was an english speaking customer service lady it was very i can understand that she was very sympathetic she said oh that's no good if it smells like it's burning i'm going to get somebody out straight away and within a few days an engineer came out from hot point um well not hot point i think it's from like the the group of them whirlpool or something he come out straight away and he, he done a diagnostic he checked it and he said yeah the drums warped and he ordered a i forget what he called it now where you can send it back and you get your money back straight away uh, without no questions asked because it was obviously a fault um, from manufacturer or during transport or something um, but if anybody's got any like sort of comments or like um, wants to know anything I mean this washing machine I mean <sighs> if it would I suppose it would be a good wash I mean this mixed load one is, is very good you can you can have the extra you can add it on like uh, extra for dirtiness uh, bubble soak this one here, you can have a bubble soak. You can change different uh, rinses, different right temperatures right up to 90 uh, on nearly every wash. Different spins on nearly every wash. Um, that's nice programs. The wool wash is very nice. It's very gentle on the wool. Um, but I think there's a build fault in it because the other thing I've noticed, which could be causing what's causing the washing to be getting, making it thrown around, is that the washing gets really, really tangled in it. So I think uh, that there's, that there's something, some design faults on the way they've made a drum. You read some of the other washing machine models, they say they've got special painted, painted technology that uh, sort of uh, do like waves and pull the washing back into the washing machine. So that's not right, is it? That's a new washing machine, two weeks old. That, that is not normal, is it? So Samsung, if you get to watch this, please sort it out because, you know, we're disappointed. Our previous washing machine lasted 10 years and we was very, very happy with it to the point where we fixed it, we put new burnings on it, we got it working for another two years. Uh, and even when we, we sold it second hand and it was still working, we just decided we needed an upgrade. So, like I said, we're a big fan of Samsung. We've got lots of our stuff in this house is Samsung. So Samsung, whatever you, this model, this is the Series 5, uh, the 1400 um, it's got you know the one with the hygiene spin and stuff you, obviously I'll put the link I'll put the exact model in the link below I think um, I mean we tried it on all different washes we tried it with just a few clothes in on a white wash a cotton wash it did it we tried it on a wool wash it did it And the customer service was appalling, to be honest. So anyway, the good news is this is coming to get collected in a couple of hours. Um, so that'll be gone. And I've ordered a Bosch one, Series 6, uh, which, according to a couple of surveys and stuff, was supposed to be the best washing machine at the moment. Um, it doesn't have all the fancy things like steam and uh, all this hygiene steam and other things, bubble soaks. Um, but... It does have very good reviews and being Bosch, I mean, um, if you look at the electric bikes at the moment, a lot of the electric bikes um, and scooters, well not scooters, but more, mainly electric bikes, top of the range electric bikes, all have Bosch motors. So I'm hoping it's going to be a good motor, being German stuff, I'm hoping it's, uh, I'm hoping it's going to be better than the Samsung's. Um, it was either that or I'll go back to what point, but like I said, the what point, um, Oh, I just, I mean, um, it was cheaper. The, the Bosch we got is the Series 6, it's the 1400 9 kilogram drum, same as this one, and we got it on a uh, Curry's for um, 549, same as everywhere else, but it was offering some code, 
you put in you get 45 pounds off so I got it for 509 pounds I think it was or something, something similar to that and that's not coming till uh, next Tuesday I think so I usually do reviews of like really good products and stuff I'm very pleased with but this it's been a disappointment I'm afraid it's going this is our second one of this model both damaged within a couple of weeks and just I mean more or less it did it from the start um, and that is the only fault of it to be honest it does everything else it works fine but that is the only fault but it's these are supposed to be new washing machines that's supposed to be like whisper quiet and that is that is sounds really noisy once it gets up to spin and the other thing is as well it's a bit annoying you can't turn off is it's at the end of each cycle it gets this really really long jingle like literally about two minutes long um, which was a bit unnecessary from Samsung I'm not sure why they did it um, I'm gonna leave it there anyway um, like I said it it's not I'm not a critic of Samsung I'm a big fan to be honest but this is just a a truthful review on a product which was open to be good which has turned out to be disastrous um, I mean other products we have I mean this is the um, I mean that's the hot point uh, dual what do you call it dual fuel uh, oven cooker I mean that's very good very pleased with that one so right so I'm just gonna leave it there now and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this review any questions or anything just leave it in the please leave it in the link um, and this is going today like I said in a couple of hours um, and hopefully the Bosch one will be better I've done the re I've looked at the reviews on the Bosch one and it's got very good reviews it, it does look fancy it has got um, where this has got like the stain the stain thing here where you can add for extra stain to get the stains out on the Bosch one it has four different um, buttons for different stains and you can just click them and it adds it changes the wash slightly um, how it washes to get the stains out so there will be a review on that anyway so hopefully it'll be a better review than this for the Bosch washing machine so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this review and uh, thanks for watching and um, hopefully I'll leave you another review soon sorry it's been too long it's just uh, it's been a hectic couple of years with Covid and stuff and uh, it's just it's just been hectic really I mean um, I was planning on doing like my top reviews of all guys of me stuff that I use that I've used for years and years that I've still going good and I was just going to do like a breakdown of like the top 10 gad you know gadgets and products that I've used one of them been a catcher so there will be a follow-up on this um, of like products I have around the house which I've been using for say maybe even over 10 years that are still in really good condition they work perfectly fine so um and again, these are, these are not paid, they're not sponsored by anybody. These are just genuine reviews, just to like, keep people in posted and keep them informed. So, um, that will be coming soon. So keep watching and subscribe. Um, it helps my channel to grow. Obviously, I'm a very new channel. Uh, you know, it's very, very small uh, support at that at the moment. Um, but that's probably due to my lack of videos. But there will be more videos to come, hopefully. Things have settled down a bit now and... Um, all I can say is just keep watching. Anyway, if I don't see you again before Christmas, have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. Bye for now.